Uh, hello, dear students. Uh, so today we'll continue uh, with the solving session. Uh, last video, if you refer to it, you can see that we have solved the question one to question number two uh, in Form 2 National Assessment Exam Mathematics 2022. And today we proceed with uh, uh, question number three. So with question number three, yes, students, as you can see here, uh, question number three, draw a cycle with a center or and hence indicate the following. So we're supposed to draw a cycle. So we are going to draw a cycle. And if from the cycle, we are going to indicate actually uh, those parts. So here we go. This is our cycle. It might not be exactly the cycle we want. But at least you can see that this is our cycle. And this is our center O here. So I can call it center O. Uh, so indicate from the uh, cycle arc AB. So we are going to mark any two points. So you have point A and you have point B. So basically, this is arc AB, arc AB. Uh, code CD, so we are going to not any two point C and D. And we're going to draw a line connecting C and D. So there we go. So this is our chord uh, CD. This one here is chord CD. Sector A or B. So we're going to use a ruler to sketch a sector A or B. So you have A or And also we're going to connect it with B there. So as you can see, we have B there. And actually this is our sector A or B. <clears throat> so this is a sector A or B. You know that a sector is area uh, of a cycle bounded by two ready. And so radius A or, as you can see, so this is our radius here, a radius A or. So we have already uh, uh, sketched the cycle and we have indicated actually the required parts. So that is solution for 3A. Three, three now going to 3B, uh, the side of a square carpet is 14 meter. So we have a square carpet, which is 14 meter. If a designer decided to make the largest possible circular carpet, so from the square carpet, uh, we are going to make the largest possible circular carpet. So what will be the area of the form the circular carpet? Find the area of the remaining part of the carpet. So dear uh, friends, uh, the way we're going to solve this question. So we are going to draw a square. So this is our square basically. And from the square, we are going to introduce actually a cycle. We are going to introduce a cycle 
So there it is. We can change color actually. So we are going to extend it so that it touches actually all parts. It's going to be a bit terrible cycle. So hopefully at the end we are going to have very good cycle. So there it is. Yeah. So from the square carpet, we have seen that uh, we made a cycle and the diameter of the cycle is going to be also uh, the same at the length of the side, the, the square, which is 14 meter. So from here, we know that the radius is going to be a seven meter. So what will be the area? If you have radius R here, R, we know that area is pi R square, the area of circular uh, carpet, which is going to be 22 over seven times seven times seven, it will be meter square. So you have, you simplify by seven, you have 22 now times seven, which is 154 meter square. Then, uh, so we're supposed to find also the area of the remaining part. So the area of the remaining part, we're going to uh, find the area of the square, which is length square. It is 14 meter multiplied by 14 meter. You have 196 meter square. So the area of the remaining part, area of remaining part, you're going to take area of the square minus area of the cycle. So this is the area of the cycle here, and you have 196 meter square minus 154 meter square. You subtract the 6 by minus 4, you get 2, 9 minus 5, you get 4, so you have 42 meter square. Dear friends, so from the question you can see what will be the area of the form the circular path uh, carpet. It is one fifty four meter square. It is one fifty four meter square. And the second question, find the area of the remaining part of the carpet. So the remaining area uh, will be forty two meter square. Now we proceed with question number four. A solve a simultaneous equation by elimination method. So we're going to start with A. So the first equation you have A over two minus B over five equals to one. You can simplify this equation by uh, actually by multiplying by LCM of two and five, which is 10. So you're going to take 10 multiply by a over two minus b over five equals to 10 multiply by one. So you have five a minus two b equals to 10. So we can say this is equation number one. But also the equation number two, you can rearrange it you rearrange the equation, uh, you're going to have A, you're going to have A minus 3B equals to A minus 3B equals to negative 24. This is our second equation. So for we to be able to solve this by using elimination method, uh, I can multiply here by five, here I can multiply by one. So eventually now we have two equation, five A minus two B equals to 10. 
and 5a minus 15b equals to uh, negative 120. So we're going to eliminate now a by subtraction. So when you subtract, you're going to get here 12b equals to, uh, I'm sorry, it is 13b actually. So you have 13b, you subtract here, you're going to get actually 130. From here, you can see that B will be 130 divided by 13, you get 10. Now, what about A? To get A, you can refer to any equation. Or you can refer to any equation. I can go back maybe to this equation here. So you'll be having 5A minus two times B and B is 10 equals to 10. So 5A will be equal to 10 plus 20. It imply that 5A equals to 30 and the whole of A will be 30 divided by five, you get six. So after uh, using the elimination method, you can see that uh, the vol of A is 60 and the vol of B is going to be 10, dear students. That is part A. Part B, the length of a book exceeds its width by 5 centimeters. So we have a book actually which is in a rectangular form. So we got to be, we have a book which is going to be in the form of a rectangle. So this is length and this is width. But we were told that uh, the length exceed its width by five centimeter. So basically, I'm sorry. Basically, we can see here that actually length is width plus five. Uh, centimeter. So what are we supposed to find? Calculate the dimension of the book given that its area is 50 centimeter. So we have to calculate the dimension of the book. But we were given area is 50 centimeter square. So basically we know that area is length times the width. So I can proceed here. I can say that now uh, 50 equals to L times the width. 50 equals to L, which is width plus five, multiply by width. You have 50 equals to W square plus five W. We have uh, w square, so W square plus 5W minus 50 equals to zero by, uh, let's check actually by <clears throat> uh, splitting the middle term, it is W square plus 10W minus 5W minus 50 equals to zero, you factorize, you have w, w plus 10 minus five, w plus 10 equals to zero. So this equation here now will become uh, w plus 10, w minus five equals to zero. From here you can see it is negative 10, or with the equals to five. But we know that width is never negative, okay? So if that is the case, we can see that actually width is going to be five centimeter.
And what about length? To get length, you can refer back to this equation here. You can see that length will be five plus five. So length will be 10 centimeter. So dimensions uh, from these equations, you can see that length is 10 centimeter and width is five centimeter. Dear students, so this is question number four uh, from uh, this next uh, exam 2022. So we'll be solving two questions uh, from time to time. Hopefully you have understood these two questions. Till next time when we continue solving the other questions. Thank you very much.